How many of you does it really feel good to get mad sometimes? <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, so just a trick, right? Because the crazy thing is, is that as soon as you do get angry, you are operating with less of an ability to be smart about your decisions. Because what happens is your limbic system gets triggered, it floods the, your prefrontal cortex with adrenaline and epinephrine. And epinephrine prevents your mind from physically being able to be used properly, and the adrenaline just forces you to get in a rage. It also gives you an injection of cortisol, so it feels like a drug, which is why you want to get more angry. Because unless you elevate your level of anger, cortisol doesn't get shot back up to your brain again. So it's like, it's like it wants another smoke, you know what I mean? Right, it's an addiction, that's what happens. So if you imagine that this is like your brain stem, and this is your limbic system at the back of your brain. When you get angry, you relinquish all control and you execute, make decisions, you ruin relationships, you do all kinds of crazy stuff. If you would like to not have that happen, then if you imagine that this is your prefrontal cortex. So this is your right brain and this is your left brain which you apply logic and creative decision making over top of your limbic system. You don't let the animal run the show. You make decisions on top of the animal. Does that make sense, like from a physical perspective? Okay, so the people that I'm coaching, when they get angry, all of them have said yes, they clench their fists. That's just part of the process. Maybe it's different for you. But when they get angry, they do. They have that response. So now what they're doing when they're clenching their fists is they're putting their fingers over their thumb. And then they're not going to do anything until they calm down. So it's an experiment right now. Let me know how it goes. 